just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graving Team, keep it clean. Man, it feels good to see y'all this Saturday morning. Uh, shout out to the Miami Heat for clutching that out again. Man, it's like with uh with Tatum. Tatum was balling all throughout the game. Well, then he got kind of quiet as far as scoring uh, in the fourth quarter. But, I mean, he was making a bunch of free throws and stuff. But as far as scoring beyond that, good, a little quiet. And then in clutch time, he was just like, hey, Heat, I don't want the ball. Y'all take it. And then, of course, there was that foul that they called when he drove to the basket. They called it on Bam. And it was like, a, oh, we got to try to save these Celtics type of foul. But anyway. Oh, but then who was that that was inbounding and he was like shuffling his feet and you can't move your feet when you're inbounding the ball. And it was, it was like a, a, a makeup call. The refs were like, all right, we called the heat for a bad foul. All right, we, 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 we got a little makeup to do. But anyway, team keep it, we, we're not here to talk about basketball right now, but shout out to the heat. But anyway, the Ravens, we need to get y'all updated on a few things. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy, but we need to get y'all updated on a few things from our favorite football team, these Baltimore Ravens, and we're here to do just that. But before we do that, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Air frying is great. Cooking on a stove top is cool. Making something in the oven can be sweet, but what's easier than popping something in the microwave for two minutes? Now on top of that, it's still good and still got good flavor. That's Factor in a nutshell. Too busy to cook this, mate? Or well, Factor, you can skip that trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, the prepping, and the cleaning up. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in two minutes. So all you have to do, pop it in the microwave, heat it up, and enjoy. Let me show you how easy it is. You see how simple that was, right? And if any of y'all like me and want to budget this year, especially when it comes to takeout food, just get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but the meals are faster than the restaurant delivery. Instead of having to call, place your order, wait for them to come deliver it, or even instead of going through the drive-thru, all you gotta do is put it in the microwave for two minutes and it's done. Factor offers a lot of different options so it makes it easy for you to stick to your goals. Especially with summer coming up. I know you're trying to get that summer body. And they have so many different nutritious options for keeping your fridge well stocked with stuff like smoothies and juices that are perfect for snacking. But for you not to just hear about it from me so you can experience it for yourself, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code engraven50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Again, check it out for yourselves. Head to factor75.com or you can just click the link below and use code engraven50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Enjoy. And after that message, welcome back. And shout out to Factor again. The link and all that stuff is down below in the description. So, our Baltimore Ravens. Joint practices have usually been a thing of the past for them. And I believe, I believe, let me know if I'm wrong, but I believe, I, I thought that Harbaugh was not a fan of the joint practices at all anymore. I thought he did wanted to do away with them for the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, they, they haven't been joint practicing with anybody for a little while, um, but that is changing this offseason, uh, this preseason or whatnot, because the Baltimore Ravens against the team that they lit literally play in preseason every single year. The Washington Commanders, I almost called them their old name, but the Washington Commanders, um, they will be holding joint practices with them leading up to their annual preseason games. The NFL, what they do, they'll sprinkle in two other teams well, before it will be like three other teams for preseason. They'll sprinkle in a couple of other teams for preseason, but you know every single year without fail. And maybe it's because it's like, hey, these two teams, they like, about 45 minutes, an hour away from each other. Why not? Make it easier for them. It's just preseason and whatnot. Let's just have them play each other. So they ain't got to do all the crazy travel and whatnot, and da, da 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 especially before the season. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But you know without fail, no matter what other teams the Ravens play, the Washington Commanders will be on their schedule every single preseason year. Whether they play them in a regular season or not, they're going to be there. And another team, the, the second closest team that's always on their schedule, I would say would probably be the Saints. But they're not even close to how, to, how it is for the Commanders. But anyway, they will be holding joint practices with the Commanders uh, this offseason. Well, this, yeah, this preseason or whatnot. 
uh, before their game. So expect fights. Happens every year. It's practice. I'm sure Ravens players be fighting each other in practice and stuff. It happens. Um, expect arguments, tussling, this and that. It's not a big deal. Please, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's, as long as <laughs> as long as we don't get no DeAndre Hopkins, D'Angelo Hall type stuff, then we're gonna be okay. We we're gonna be straight. But other than that, it'll be a lot of the same old, same old. Oh boy, Nick Boyle. Well, now I guess Nick Boyle, he trying to go play for the enemy, huh? Nick Boyle, um, tight end, been with the Ravens for a little while. Played a couple contracts out with the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, well, didn't finish the most recent one. But anyway, um, he has dealt with a lot. He dealt with, actually with a lot throughout his career. Um, but there was a lot of injuries throughout his career. Um, and most recently, very significant injury that just seemed like he never fully came back from. Even when he played, it was like, Ugh, I don't know if Nick Boyle is the same guy that he used to be. Um, he just still seemed a bit off, seemed a bit sluggish, seemed a bit uh, unsure of himself. There was a lot of uncertainty in his game. So what Nick Boyle seems to be doing now, because we heard about this a couple of months ago. That he was at, I think it was the University of Maryland, uh, their practice, and he was practicing as a long snapper. Well, he was at their, um, not their practice, at I think maybe their pro day or something like that. But he was working out as a long snapper there. So I'm like, okay, all right. I guess he's just supporting the young boys getting ready to uh, come into the league. Well, okay, cool, well, whatever. That's cool. But this seems to be a position move, a career move for Nick Boyle because now he has been like last season, um, last season, last week, uh, he, well, he's with the Steelers right now uh, at their mini camp and he's working out as a long snapper for them. So I think this is Nick Boyle being like, look, tight end was cool, was great, I had fun, but I also had these injuries. And I, th I, th I think it was said that he might have almost lost his leg with one of them injuries. But don't quote me on that. But I, regardless, his injury was really, really bad. It was really, 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 like really, really bad. Um, but I guess this could be Nick Boyle's way of trying to prolong his career and trying to extend his career and trying to like max out his career as much as he possibly can. Because he's like, look, tight end. It's a different position. It's more demanding of me and of my body. But a long snapper, <laughs> you throw that ball between your legs and you block for a couple seconds. Because as a long snapper, you either blocking on a punt or you throw the ball back and then you blocking on a punt or you throw the ball back and you blocking on a, a field goal. So with the field goal, that's quick. With the punt, it could be a little bit longer. You may have to run down the field, try to tackle somebody or whatnot. But... It's a lot less than being a tight end. So I get it. I get it. So it's a way still get paid. It's still get a little bread now. You still got your job, but it's a different position. Um, so Nick Boyle has been, been doing that with the Steelers. We ain't heard nothing bad so far. Uh, so apparently he's still there in Pittsburgh playing for the enemy, buddy. But that's it's all good, man. Nick Boyle, go get your bread. Keep that career moving. Earlier this week, uh, we talked about how um, David Ajabo, he, <laughs> he, tried, <laughs> he tried to get Terrell Suggs' number, and Terrell Suggs apparently was not having it. Terrell Suggs said, hold up there, buddy. That ain't for you, my friend. Um, and he said, like, okay, I, I just rock with 90. I'll take uh, Pernell McPhee's old number. Um, who else? Darius Smith's old number. Uh, who else recently wore 90? I can't, I can't think of anybody else. But anyway, speaking of numbers, Roquan Smith, uh, about mm, a little over a week ago, about a week and a half ago, it came out that Roquan Smith, um, and I know my guy David, I was talking to my guy David, who is the king of getting everybody's jerseys. Um, he said he's a little upset. He's a little, a little, a little disappointed that Roquan was changing his number because he had got a, a Roquan jersey. And you know, getting another one's gonna be expensive and whatnot. Cause them jerseys they run you, boy. Them jerseys will run you some money, boy. <laughs> so. Hey, I, 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 I tell you, I, I miss, I miss my little plug from China, boy. Them jerseys was on point, and the hoodies is ooh, but that, that's man, that ended in 2020 though. But anyway, um. Roquan Smith, uh, he changed his jersey number 
to zero. Now me, I uh, had to, had no choice but to get used to the eighteen like right away. But that eighteen was ugly. Like that that eighteen was ugly. Ugh, for a linebacker, yuck, yuck. So zero, hey, zero gonna be nice, man. Zero gonna be a lot nicer. Roquan, Agent Zero. Well, I don't want to call him Agent Zero. That's uh, Gilbert Arenas, right? But anyway, um, Roquan, I had a new number. Now, one of my guys in the comments, I forgot who it was, so my apologies. He was like, man, maybe uh, David, Aj David Ajabo should switch to 18. And I was like, ew, that, ew yucky. Uh, uh, pass rusher, outside linebacker with the number eight. Ugh, that would look gross, man. But again, that's, that's just, these, these just my opinions, man. These just my opinions. But David Ajabo liked it. Hey, you do your thing, but I'm, I'm sure he's going to be sticking with 90. But yeah, Roquan, hey, you wearing that number zip. We know you can play. We know you can ball. So I ain't got no worries about that. But you wear the number. It's some numbers that, look, if you're going to wear these numbers, you better be on point. You you better be a baller. And, and Roquan Smith, he obviously clears when it comes to that. But because some of the numbers are number zero, number one, like really, any single digit number, you got to be a baller, like straight. But definitely number zero, number one, number two, number three, like number number four, number five, like those single digit numbers. Um, and then as far as other ones, like ten, uh, nah, I guess I guess it's really for single digit numbers. But because there's some other ones, but single digit numbers for sure, without a doubt, you you better be a baller if you're gonna have one of those on. And let me think. Um, Ravens number nine, obviously a baller, Justin Tucker. Ravens number eight, oh yeah, he's a baller. Number eight, Lamar Jackson. Um, who was number seven? I feel like who? who oh, oh, Bateman. Bateman number seven. He just switched to number seven last year. Number six was Patrick Queen. Number five was it used to be Hollywood, it used to be Flacco, but recently it's Jalen Armour Davis. So we'll see. Number four, now is Zay Flowers. Before, it used to be uh, the punter. But after that, who had number four after? Um, why can I not think of our, our punter before uh, Jordan Stout? Why can I not remember his name? Man, I'm really trying to. The Wolfpack. It was Justin Tucker, the long snapper. I can't remember. The, no, Morgan Cox. And, oh, Sam Cook. Sam Cook. There we go. Okay. Whew. I felt bad, man. I'm like, man, the Wolfpack, they were so special. But, I mean, Justin Tucker's still doing this thing. So, yeah, like, Justin Tucker was like, look, hey, with or without y'all, I'm going to keep doing my thing. But anyway, um, and that was number four. Number three, was James Prochet. Um, who else was number three? RG3 or Robert Griffin. Uh, Matt Stover. Um, well, I know that we took it way back with that one. And number two, did anybody have number two for the Ravens? Because I sure can't think of nobody. I don't think anybody had number two. I don't think so. Unless I just, my memory is just not serving me right right now. I cannot think of anybody had number two. I, I, I feel like I'm forgetting who, but I, I know y'all will cover me in the comment section, which y'all always do every single time. But anyway, Roquan Smith, New Jersey, feel good, look good, play good. We good with it. A couple days ago, Jeff Zrebic reported a signing from our Baltimore Ravens. Who was that? It was former SMU offensive lineman. So that's something to take note of. Offensive lineman. Not, he didn't say tackle. He didn't say right tackle or left tackle. He didn't say right guard or left guard. He didn't say center. He said offensive lineman, but there's a reason behind that. He said, uh, former SMU, oh, there's James Prochet, I think it is. Anyway, but former SMU offensive lineman Jalen Thomas, an undrafted free agent. Thomas was initially reported to be part of their undrafted free agent class, which was a big class. It felt like Ravens signed like 53 undrafted free agents. I know it wasn't that much, but it seemed like a lot. Uh, but anyway, uh, Thomas was initially reported to be part of their undrafted free agent class, but he didn't officially sign until today, well, w which was two days ago. Um, he played all five offensive line positions at SMU. So, again, my guys say, look, <laughs> hey, Ravens, I can do it all. I know y'all looking for spots. I know y'all looking for guys who can do it. Hey, I got y'all. And, again, the more you can do. The more you can do. That's what it's about. 
He trying to get us, especially as an undrafted free agent, boy. You gonna be? I, I bet if they told him, "Hey, Jalen, go play corner." He said, "Okay, I will line up. You might might want me as safety a little bit more, but I, I, I got you. I do whatever." So, but yeah, again, this off season about depth. It's about building that depth, baby, and, and and depth is so so important. Team, keep it clean. With all that being said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Yo, we should maybe do more videos like this in the future because this was a lot of fun for me. I hope it was a lot of fun for y'all too. Uh, we just wanted to make sure we were all updated together. We all caught up together on everything going on. Again, like I said at the beginning, it was nothing major. It was nothing crazy, but just some little updates here and there. Uh, with these Baltimore Ravens and of course the Miami Heat as well. But make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. It's a lot of people that watch, which we appreciate. But make sure you subscribe to the channel too. Turn those notifications on so you do not miss not one single video or update, whatever. You don't miss nothing. I don't be wanting nobody to miss stuff. And then shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Well, we about to see a list of their names. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean channel members. I uh, appreciate everybody who supports the channel. How, however you support the channel, I appreciate you supporting the channel. I love you. I appreciate you. Let's have, whatever day you're watching this on, let's have a great day. Let's have a phenomenal day. If you're watching this at night, have a great night. Have a great afternoon. Just have a great whatever. I love you. I appreciate you. We out. Exit out the door. Yeah. Use his favorite team with a Baltimore.